Brooks with Brandywine. Today I wanted to do a Dragon Rex video that is mostly focused on middle grade dragon books. And in the description below, I'm going to be posting uh, the link to another Dragon Rex video that came out recently. That one was, I think, like more towards YA and adult. But since this readathon is more about books than pages, I find that sometimes it's easier to do middle grade books that we can read them much faster. Plus, middle grade books are just really, really awesome. So, for the first book is actually an entire series. It is the Dragon Keeper series. There, I believe there's five or six books in the series right now, and I loved them. One of the reasons that I love this book, this series the most, is because it introduces some no, some new dragon lore that I've never seen in other books. Uh, for one thing, there is, uh, I believe, a city. I don't remember if it was in another dimension or if it was just in a volcano, but it was an entirely dragon city. Which I have seen that kind of in other books, but they also have this thing where when the dragons get super, super old, they turn into books, like huge ancient leather tome books, and they flap around the library that they're in, and so that was like brand new something I hadn't seen. Uh, the books are really thin. You can just start with the first one, which I believe is Dragon in a Sock Drawer, because she was so tiny she could fit in their socks when she was a little baby. And for that one, it is mostly the adventure of these two kids trying to protect this dragon as it is being hunted by no other than St. George. Yeah, that St. George, who killed dragons, is apparently still alive and hunting dragons. And so, uh, I feel like, I don't remember if that theme went through multiple books, but it was definitely the theme of the first book. So go ahead and go and check that out. The second recommendation that I have is a book called Jeremy Thatcher, Dragon Hatcher. This is a book that I read <clears throat> when I was in seventh seventh grade. Uh, my English teacher had it in amongst the books that lined the back of her classroom, and I got to borrow it and read it. I did not know at the time that it was part of a larger series about this magic shop that does random stuff. This is the only book that I really know of in the series that had to do with dragons, and I did read it on its own without reading the rest of the series, not even knowing the rest of the series existed, and the book worked perfectly fine on its own as a standalone. It follows the story of a boy who goes into a magic shop and accident well accidentally touches a dragon egg, even though he's been instructed not to touch anything, and he bonds with that dragon egg. And so the magic shop owner gives it to him, and he doesn't know it's a dragon egg, and so when it hatches, he tries to go back to find the magic shop, but lo and behold, the magic shop has disappeared. And so he ends up having to try and raise this dragon, and finds out that there's a lot more to it. Um, there's some cool lore that's in that book about why the dragon was even in our world, uh, and stuff that's happening with the rest of the dragons behind the scenes. It's I loved it. I would recommend that book to anyone that loves reading dragon books. And then the next book is Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funke, which is part of a duology now. I don't know if there's going to be more, but it's for sure part of a duology. Uh, I read this book so many years ago, and it's still like on my top list of favorite dragon books. So uh, this boy is Ben and the dragon and the brownie sorrel what's the dragon's name fire drake and they are trying to find this legendary place where dragons can live in peace and on the way there they end up like going on this crazy journey well crazy awesome journey and meeting a bunch of different kinds of characters including a genie and they well i don't want to spoil what happens at the end but i love this book i love the adventures in it and again it, like it's a little bit thicker but it is middle grade and i definitely suggest it to anyone that loves dragon books. I think it's so much fun. Uh, the next book is A Tale of Two Castles, which is by Gail Carson Levine. And that book is about a girl that is an aspiring actor. She wants to join this acting troupe that is going through, but she gets denied and ends up becoming, uh, I don't want to say a servant. I don't remember what the name of her title was, but she ends up working for a dragon. And they end up having to solve a mystery of some stuff that's going on in the book. It is so much fun. I loved the dragon. He's so snarky. And I loved the mystery that she had to solve. I loved the enthusiasm of the main character. I loved getting to see, like, all of her different, like, acting techniques because she just, she loves acting so much and she has so much fun with it. There's, like, this whole scene where she's, like, acting with an apple and she's channeling her hunger for the apple at the same time she's trying to, like, cry over it dying or something. 
and it's just the cutest scene ever. I love all Gail Carson Levine's um, books. She takes a lot of fairy tales and kind of respins them, and I just, I always love her takes on the fairy tales, and uh, A Tale of Two Castles is no exception. That book is awesome. Definitely go check it out. Uh, the last book that I recommend uh, is a series again, and I think this one might actually be more towards YA. Uh, it's a series of three books that, uh, it's a trilogy that takes place in the larger Dragon Riders of Pern universe. This trilogy is specifically aimed towards kids. Uh, I believe the main characters were teenagers when the series starts, and it is the, the Harper Hall trilogy. And basically, in the Harper Hall, like, there's the big dragons that are in Pern, but there's also these little tiny, like, dragonlet things. And this girl accidentally uh, bonds to, like, a whole, I don't want to say hurt, a whole flock of dragons. And um, so they end up following her around, like, all the time. And it follows her adventures as she's going through these three books. She's learning to work with them. But I just loved that series, and I think you guys will really enjoy it too. It's definitely a great introduction into the Dragon Riders of Pern if you are too intimidated to read the actual, like, big books. It's, like, a great way to get into them. And then the book that I am reading for this uh, readathon is going to be Hatching Magic. Uh, it is a middle grade read. I don't actually know anything about it besides the fact that that's a wervern and it's hatching. I literally know nothing else about the book, but this is the book that I'm going to be reading for the uh, book junkie trials. So I will see you guys next time. Have fun choosing your dragon books. Mm -hmm.